Hello assalamu alaikum guys and welcome back to a new video. Today this video is as a gift for all of you who are using a Hackintosh and are really messed up with your setups. So what I will do in this video is I will tell you that I had made a custom EFI for all of those who use UEFI motherboards. So basically this EFI is uh, based on or you can say is basically designed for ASUS Z97 chipset motherboards all of those who are using any model of ASUS Z97 chipset can get this EFI and can solve like 95% of their problems I will upload the EFI on the my Dropbox and I will add the description I will add the link in the description below so all you need to do is you have to open your Clover like I will do Clover and then what you have to do is you have to mount check partition and you have to mount your OS X drive in which you have installed your OS X or you are going to install your OS X or if you are using a USB installer so if you are using a USB installer to install your OS X for the first time, this OS X uh, will this EFI will work will work for all of the versions, including El Capitan and Yosemite and Mavericks. All you have to do is if you have already booted into an OS X, then you have to mount your main hard drive, which in which you have OS X, or if you are using a USB to install OS X through a USB and using UEFI then you have to mount that USB for, uh, for, uh, right now I will mount my hard drive in which my OS X is and then you have to add your password then like this your hard drive EFI will be mounted you have to open the partition and you have to copy that EFI which I, have, I had uploaded to this folder you can back up your current EFI if your system is working correctly and you just want to like give a light or slight update to your EFI for better compatibility you can you have to copy that EFI into this folder just into this partition and you can see it's around 200 MB's partition right here this is what you have to do with the EFI I had uploaded and I can show you the things I, I've been using on this EFI uh, to give you a little view that which things work perfectly right now it's my 10GB 1360 megahertz DDR3 it's OS X and here it's my GTX 970 if you'll add the EFI if you're using GTX 900 series it will work like charm it won't be a problem it will be just as easy as it is so my displays are working correctly storage is working correctly memory modules and then if I go to system report you can see my audio is working perfectly including my uh, audio out from display board and audio out from Intel HD and HDMI and display board my Bluetooth is working which is a USB Bluetooth and then if I go to Ethernet my Ethernet is working then comes SATA storage it's, uh, it's working and trim is enabled on my SSDs in USB my USB 3.0 port is working and I got lots of hub on which lots of different devices are attached then in Wi-Fi I had a working Wi-Fi as well but I had made a video on YouTube on how to get your USB Wi-Fi working right now my Wi-Fi is compatible with 2.4 and 5 gigahertz and it worked really nice and then my PC and then my graphics card where is it yep yeah you can see my graphic card is working and it does not display any USB because I think I had, I had not connected my USB device to my USB port 
so else it's working perfectly so that's all in this video I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you got and hope this video helped you out if you have any comment please comment below let me know the problem I will try my best to sort it out until the next video take care Allah Hafiz mm -hmm.